Oh, okay. We're going in with no song. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just hit that one. No, no, no. 13, 13. Or that oh, well, we have no sound in the headphones. There's no snare in my headphones. Oh, that's much worse. Turn that off. Turn that off, bro. No, but you just pressed. There you go. We, we're we back from Pluto Turn that on There you go There Let's you go. go We can all fix this later That was all on but okay. we'll, we'll fix it in post Not even There we go this is it. See how that All right that was perfect. Touchdowns and Tangents Episode 201 Live from the Good News oh Sports gosh. Studio in Hawthorne, California uh, No intro But it's okay this is the right. I feel like this was the right intro. I mean, we're mellow. We're there's no uh, liquor. There was Damn. liquor last there was, time. There was there's a lot been of liquor tequila. like the past three times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of weird to die. It's like there's an orange Gatorade, and that's not even supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't mine. It was here when we got here. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, we are still on the air. This is your Thursday night spot for NFL Takes, Topical Tangents. Uh, last week was definitely a celebration. Uh, if you got a chance to listen to it, go ahead. If you haven't, it's an evergreen episode. We had a lot of friends in the studio. It was definitely a party. Uh, sorry, Eric, for your um, audio connoisseur ears. I'm sure it was a lot. I just let it go, man. I was just, uh, <laughs> like, it's off the rails. I'm like, you know what? This is raw. <laughs> Michael <laughs> had like 27 drops. <laughs> and he called in. <laughs> and he called in from outside. I was so mad. I was like, you brought in cookies to mock us. And then you walk outside and call us from outside. Which the cookies we can hear you. I brought. And he walked in like he bought them. I was so mad. I was like, that's the most light skin shit ever. But yeah, man, Chiefs Raiders Sunday night. <sighs> He's gonna be taking another L. No, I'm just kidding. Raiders will probably lose. My fantasy team is like got flicking. ten people on the fucking COVID list, and Chiefs somehow always finessing corners out of nowhere. I just want to point out the series finale of Supernatural is on like right now, and I can't watch it. I'm kind of sad because I've been watching that show since like 2005. That show's been on the air since 2005. And I really Jesus hope the series Christ. finale isn't trash because I've 15 waited. Fifteen years of show is a I've lot stuck to end. The last four <laughs> seasons were end, kind bro. of bullshit. <laughs> it's like lost. It's, like, yeah, it's. I mean, it's think about it. Most of those I'm emotionally over. entangled into the show. Yeah, most of those shows that like you stay on for a long time, you're just disappointed when they end. Yeah, I mean, like Sopranos is just like. It's, yeah, it's over. Dope, There's no way that you can end it that's going to please everybody. Yeah, Game of Thrones, yeah. awful. We don't talk about that on this podcast. <laughs> I'm really mad about Game of Thrones. Still, that's been a few years. It still makes me angry. There was just so much bad writing. And when I finally got back into it after missing a couple seasons and invested, like, oh, yeah, she's going to actually kill shit with the dragon. Nope. Gets fucked by her nephew and killed. I don't know okay. how long it took me to figure out that Game of Thrones was not a game. I thought it was like a video game for a long freaking time. It was a book. And it probably would have been better books. as a video game. I remember yeah. they like they held something at the Staples Center, and I was like, "Bro, how are twenty thousand people going to play the same video game?" Oh well, now they actually do do that. <laughs> <laughs> now they actually. Oh do my gosh, that. you're right. Shout out to Twitch. <laughs> if we ever get on Twitch. <laughs> We're just going to play video games and talk shit. Shout out to Madden. But yeah, man, shout out to the X-Squad Affiliate. Shout out to FBC Radio. Shout out to all your favorite podcasts app where you can find this, including the Good News uh, Sports and Good News app, which you can download. Salute to Keith, man. Heard him on a podcast, and he was like talking about how you give yourself six months to like fully commit yourself to something, and after that six months, decide if you want to like commit years to it. And... He's like, he's like, I would. It wouldn't matter if I was a shoestring salesman, if I'm passionate about it, and if I'm, if I really want to do it, and I commit myself to it, I'm gonna do it. So it was dope. Shout out to Keith. I don't remember the podcast that it was, but yeah, man, good dude. And shout out to just like the C Sun lineage, because like almost every third person I know, I realize, oh wait, you went to the same college as me, which is fantastic. Because, like, we all have, like, horror stories, and we make fun of CSUN, but, you know, we did some life-changing things there. So, 
there's that. Speaking of life changing things, uh, looks like the Seahawks are about to put a W over on the Cardinals. And, well, if you're a Seattle fan, things haven't been the best the past few weeks. And so now they'll take that win on Thursday night. And MVP status. They got a safety, too, which is crazy. Yeah, because, like, the the Cardinals with that amazing Hail Mary to beat the Buffalo Bills, which was a huge win. That was awesome. Like, and the fact that DeAndre Hopkins has that on a shirt, three on one, and he caught it. Like, that... That that's was honestly it, the greatest catch I've ever seen. That's to get a 99 on Madden. Yeah. Like, all you need is that one play. Like, this is Robin 99. I don't care if you don't make another play the rest of your life. On that day, in that moment. Like, that's Randy Moss type stuff. Man, now Carlos Hyde wants to play. Yeah, he said that's not even. Randy Moss said he didn't get mossed. He got, you got nuked. <laughs> that's fair. So, it's like. The Raiders passed on this guy. I'm well, I know really, I wasn't a big DeAndre Hopkins fan for like I was, two years. I was ever since and college. I had to for the Texans. And then I had to be. When he had 16 touchdown catches in college, I was like, I really hope the Raiders take him, but I know they're not. And they took a dude with a severe heart condition who almost died, who's still in the league, but notorious for getting trashed on and DeAndre Hopkins is over here on a Hall of Fame trajectory, and the Raiders passed on DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, I'm still really pissed about that. Yeah, that's a video worth looking at for sure. I've never seen that before, and that's crazy. Like the, the fact that Kyler Murray, we can all say now he's 5'9", right? We're all lying. Like <laughs> he's, five, he's 5'10", 5'11". No way he was 5'11". We were like, he's 5'10", at the, uh, at the combine when he first... Um, came out of college, we're like, he's 5'10", he'll make it. He's not Doug Flutie short. No, he is. Yeah, but Doug Flutie was trash, so, you know. Yeah, no, this guy's an exceptional athlete. I mean, he's the only person in history to be drafted first overall in the NFL and fifth in in, in Major League Baseball. Like, he's a yeah. true athlete and he's undefeated since high school in Jerryland. It's, yeah, dude, that guy's going to be, people are talking Patrick Mahomes right now, but, like, Kyra Murray's, you know, a foot shorter and <laughs> and doing up almost as much. So you know, which by the way, earlier this week, Kyler Murray said he definitely feels like he could play two sports, and he never say never. So I put a poll up on the TDT Instagram: Should Kyler Murray Murray play baseball? So far, sixty seven percent of voters say yes, he should. No, I'm sorry, they say no, he shouldn't. He should stick to football. What do you think? I say do it, man. Like, never say never. Like he said, um, I know that there's kids out there who, you know, are probably going through it, trying to play two sports. And if Kyler can do it, you know, fuck you, high school coach. (laughs) I mean, I think we try to put people on boxes too much. And Kyler's already breaking out of the under six foot QB box. So why not break out the two? Athlete sport box as well. Not at the same time, right? No. Well, usually baseball kind of wraps up right like at the like early point of football season, midpoint, oh, something like that. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, I mean, work. but yeah, it probably would still be too hard to play both like in the same year, but yeah. fuck, I don't know, man. I, mean, I think it'd be hard to be a five nine QB in the yeah. NFL, like <laughs> with well, four three speed. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's just hard because I mean, being a pro athlete, there's so much that goes into it, and then recovery is one of those things. I mean, that's true. You know, football is so intense, and then he's the quarterback. And that, for yeah. one, that's big money in the NFL, the closest thing to guaranteed money. Two, a lot of he's, time, a lot yeah. of film, and two, he's basically the captain, whether he's voted to be captain or not. And then you know, not saying that he couldn't do baseball, but baseball before COVID is a very long season. They do like 180 games and then it's deep stretches. I mean, the only last two players I really think that even done anything like that have been Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson broke his hip in half, and if not more. And Deion Sanders, well, let's be honest, some teams could afford even a Deion Sanders to be missed for a couple weeks so he could finish up playing baseball. (laughs) But... At, with Kyra Murray being the quarterback and 
uh, and the leader of the team, I think it's just a little bit, it, it, not saying to put him in the box, but just as far as what pro athletes and what their bodies have to go through, especially quarterbacks, even though every rule in the book is to protect them. Um, I think it's still, it'd just be a lot. Not saying that he couldn't do it because he's definitely an exceptional athlete, but he, uh, it's just a lot to ask of anybody, especially for that much money and that long of seasons on both those, um, sports. And I want to point out that like being a QB of a team, especially that Arizona team and how much they have invested in him and Cliff Kingsbury and all that. I, I feel like that would be so time consuming that baseball would just take a back seat, and the A's, are, let's be honest, aren't a World Series contender. Mm, they could be with him. Mm, well, one they, player they, doesn't like carry. I'm, I'm an Angels fan. Trust me, one player won't get you <laughs> over the hump. I suffer every day, Dude, and they gotta, they gotta. Yeah, but the thing is, the A's always have pitching. They don't yeah. have batting. They're a, the Angels no, they never have, have p- fucking pitching. They the either have, haven't had pitching since Weaver. And, they, ru- and they ruined him. They ruined his whole prime. I'm still mad about shout that. Shout out to Jenny Finch. I don't know, shout I, out I, to Jenny Finch. <laughs> shout out to softball players. Like, some softball chicks, like, scared me. I'm like, you don't. Like, they would walk. It was, like, normal. They don't look like a super athlete. And then they just underhand throw a ball, like, 90 miles an hour. And I'm like, I don't want problems. <laughs> <laughs> Like, anytime I could throw a ball at you 90 miles an hour, I could legally kill you. Like, I don't think we really think about how, like, I think most pitchers can't fight. But if they sucker, if they suckered you with, with a ball you didn't see coming and hit you in the temple, you're done. <laughs> like, but that's why I think why that that's the beautiful thing about um, pitchers getting thrown at and fighting in baseball because they have to get their come up and you got to keep them in check. Like there's a power balance there, but when it comes to Kyler Murray and he's, he would have been an outfielder, you know, that that's a lot. That's a lot to ask for him, for a team that is not a world series contender and they play small ball still. I mean, I know Billy B isn't the GM. He's moved up and he's higher up, but his philosophy still permeates throughout that organization. Shout out to Sean Thomas in New Mexico, you know, doing your thing. Um, I heard they quarantined the, the state for yes. like a weekend. It was two, two weeks. Crazy. Shut down the whole state. Yeah, and now Newsom is quarantining or sh- shutting down. Uh, no, California. No, no. We have a curfew. curfew we have to be in bed curfew. at a certain time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man who does things I will never speak about publicly. And I have a curfew. I get off work at 10. Where the f- How, Sway? How? Explain that to me. Be home. How? Now, 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 just on your way home, now you can't just drop in to get a beer. You have to do that before you go to work. And I got to buy a beer at work now. But Santa Monica, like, is its own monster in general because, again, I hate old people in Santa Monica. You suck. Um, and, yeah, Santa Monica's a shitty place with shitty people in it. I stand by that. Some, I mean, not everyone's shitty, but there's a good... When you see the shitty, shitty people in Santa Monica, you're just like, oh... Why? Like you came from Huntington Beach, just or Palisades. <laughs> like you, like Santa Monica wasn't always like this. Like thirty years ago, Santa Monica was different. It's just uh. my parents always say that they're like LA was so different like forty years ago. Okay, well, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you hit them with the boomer silently in your head? Like okay. <laughs> All right. So with that. Other news that happened this week that we got to talk about the Washington Redskins, or I'm sorry, the Washington football team, the AKA WTFs, the WTFs, are apparently thinking about keeping their name. The Washington football oh team, my God. yes, that's oh. actually one of the leading contenders for their permanent name. I mean, they could just hire me as a brain trust. I'll oh, come so up with a nickname. I mean, they can't like leak it or announce it because all these assholes out there are like, oh, we're going to trademark that. We're going to trademark that. <laughs> <laughs> trademark that. I'm going to buy the domain. I mean, yeah. I mean, what? what? WTF.com? Backslash careers? <laughs> I just don't know what they could do. I mean, they have to get a really cool um, mascot that fits that color scheme, too. So it's just like, well. It should just be a picture of a black dude 
just looking at you. Just no, there should be a picture of Samuel Jackson and Black Snake Moan just staring.